Hello and welcome. My name is Jeffrey Garcia and I am a sessional lecturer in the Undergraduate Architectural Studies program and a partner of a design practice called Office in Search of. I am a voracious reader and consider my collection of nonfiction, fiction, catalogs, essays, and graphic novels a perpetually evolving archive of ideas. Cerilus played a game called Exquisite Corpse where a composite was created from the sum of its parts. Now, I would like to use this analogy for how I evolved as a designer and educator from reading. The El Croquis issue 52 on Zaha Hadid was revelatory when I was a first-year architecture student. Her unique drawings compressed simultaneous views into a single image, and this method inspired my ideation process that overlays multiple programmatic moments. Small, Medium, Large, Extra Large is a compendium of projects by Rem Kulhas and the Office for Metropolitan Architecture, or OMA, organized by scale. The book was revolutionary at the time because it foregrounded process and cultural influences. For me, reading is a discursive practice, and design consists of perpetual inquiry where conceptual rigor requires comprehensive research and critical thinking. OMA's subversion of familiar typologies and displacement of expectations influences how I teach and design. The Watchmen is considered one of the greatest graphic novels ever written. It was proof that an image-based medium can be used for sophisticated storytelling. Our practice uses Instagram to create a visual narrative of our projects being exhibited in a fictional museum. Jorge Otero Pelos locates experimental preservation with the future anterior. It is concerned with what has not yet happened and what has already happened, and considers preservation to be a radical act. My current research interest explores digital fabrication to prevent permanent data loss caused by degrading media and redundant hardware. The article I am currently reading on the New York Times app is a typical example of what I like to read, new knowledge that is quirky and unusual. I rarely teach a studio class where I do not share with my students something I read because I tend to foster curious minds through reading. This is my reading and research outline for my graduate thesis. Creative thinking occurs when your mind can wander adrift in a deluge of ideas. I encourage all of you to be constantly curious. Be inspired by what you read, because when you do, you will inevitably become inspiring. I wish you all the best with the Critical Perspectives Way of Looking initiative, and look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you for your time.